Did you know that you can use the transform effect inside of the edit page? That's what I'm going to teach you today. So welcome to the channel. And if you are new here, my name is Paulo and I usually do videos about DaVinci Resolve and other stuff related to video. And today I'm going to teach you how to use the transform effect inside of the edit page. So let's jump in the computer and see how you can use it. So here we are inside of DaVinci Resolve in the edit page. And as you can see, I already have these uh, clips over here. They are simple pictures that I create a, a simple slideshow. And now I'm going to teach you how to use the transform node. One of the most important things of the transform node is that you can uh, put it inside of an adjustment clip and adjust and transform multiple clips. Of course, you can use the transform in individual clips, but in my opinion, the best way, the best uh, way, not, not the best way, probably the most useful way is to adjust multiple clips at the same time with just one adjustment clip. So where you can find the transform node, it's here in the open effects, and you can come here and look for the transform and it's here. So you can put it in one clip and if you select that clip, you come here to the effects and now you in the open effects, you have here the settings that you can adjust. But now the other way is come here to the effects and use an adjustment clip and now go to the open effects and look for the um, transform. It's in here in the resolve effects transform and drop the transform in the adjustment clip and now in the adjustment clip you have this enable and you can use it and you can do all of this so you have the control modes it has three modes the sliders the interactive canvas and then interactive pins i like to use the sliders but you can test the others and you can adjust all of this this is a simple uh, adjustment you can flip it uh, so you can adjust the image, you can crop it or uncrop it. And one of the things that I use a lot is it's the edge rounding. So every time I want to use something, just the center with a circle, I use this uh, effect because if we play it, you notice that it's only showing this. And of course, if you care, if you want to have a, a soft edge, you can come here and just the softness and basically is this but you can also add some motion blur and here some advanced options from the edge behavior and composite type and anti-aliasing all of that and the global blend of course and you can use the use alpha if you don't use the alpha you don't see anything happening so as you could see with this effect you can do a lot and in my opinion it's a great effect and I hope this information was helpful and I hope you learned something today. And if yes, don't forget, hit that like button that helps a lot, subscribe if you're not subscribed yet and hit that notification bell to be notified next time I launch a video. Until there, bye!